Hello, darling travelers of the 3D and 5D dimensions and beyond. This is Sarah. I'm your intuitive guide and your reader. I had an interesting comment I happened to notice yesterday, and I, I can't at this point really keep up with the comments, unfortunately, but I have some amazing moderators that do hop on to assist you guys. Incredible. <laughs> and somebody said something about my voice and <clears throat> I thought well I can't really change my voice <laughs> my voice is my voice so you know we are who we are and maybe they were referring to the fact that I was clearing my throat in one of yesterday's videos but those are just part of my symptoms it's actually allergies as well and uh, anyway I thought it was kind of funny that I was being called out on the way that I spoke as if I could change that. So <clears throat> any hooser, we're going to be here and together and spend some time here doing a reading. Now, I find it interesting still that when I do post videos about the masculines, what they're thinking, where they're at, those tend to get a lot of hits and a lot of views and when I try to sort of go outside the box and I don't try to sort of when I do go outside the box and I post something for the feminine getting the feminine back in her power or even a lot of I like to post astrological videos those would be that would make me happy if I could post a lot more astrological videos but they don't seem to be what you guys want so I'm feeling a little torn and kind of frustrated because I really don't want to continue just doing videos about the masculines. This doesn't assist us in getting into union, knowing where they're at and what they're doing. It's kind of like we're keeping tabs on them. And at times I feel like they don't necessarily want us to keep tabs on them. They're like, can we please just, can we please get a break, you know, a break? Can we please get a breather? So let me, let me know guys uh, in the, you know, the comments and the live chat, what you guys think, because I would love to start putting out more videos about getting the feminine in her power and moving us forward. Let's move forward in these connections. Let's move forward in the way that we think, in the way that we operate inside of these connections and being a twin flame. And let's move forward with our inner knowing and sort of drop this idea that knowing what the masculine is doing or what they're thinking about us or what they're doing in their 3D is going to somehow assist us to get into union because the more that we understand that our twin is us just walking around in another body, okay, just another vessel, another avatar, having different experiences, but that we are one and the same, I think we can get on board with the concept that, okay, what we really need is soul progression work. What we really need is to understand oneness and wholeness and how to get there within ourselves. So today's video is, at least for the morning here, or the early afternoon, I should say, is going to be about the feminine and getting into her power. Specifically for my feminines watching, I've chosen the Sacred Rebel stack, I've chosen the Elemental Oracle, and I've chosen the Queen of the Moon Oracle because we're just deep and ripe in this eclipse season, and we're actually going to start with the Queen of the Moon Oracle. And they're, they're telling me that they want me to throw in a tarot deck as well. I just haven't been able to decide which one. Which one? Oh, I know what they want. Hold on a second, guys. Bear with me. Aha. We're not going to do a tarot deck. We're going to do the animal spirit deck. This is the sister deck to the sacred, or sorry, the wild unknown tarot. And I forget I have this because I just forget I have it, but I love these. So we will look into the energies, the animal energies here for the feminine. And I'll probably pull a card for the masculines as well. I just want to get away from sort of this idea that we have to... It's like we can get obsessed with what the masculine's doing and that just doesn't assist us in forwarding us and moving us forward on our journey. Okay, so feminines. Oh, we've got to pull in, I forgot. We've got to pull in our other little wolfie. She's gonna hang out right here. Let's just go ahead and cleanse and clear. This is my first reading of the day. How are you guys doing? Let me know. 
Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to my incredible moderators. I've hand selected my moderators. If any of you are, you know, you find yourselves watching a lot of the videos and you decide I really want to assist others and I'm in, you know, a somewhat stable place. You don't have to be in union to be a moderator. You don't have to be, there's no particulars, but if you feel like you can help others and assist others while also being helped yourself, um, just let me know. You know, I'm open to having more moderators. I just want to be really mindful of who I allow to moderate. So we have some incredible moderators from around the world. We've got Gaitha, we've got Lynn, we've got, oh gosh, I'm not good with names. Don't hold me accountable. <laughs> Don't hold me accountable, guys. We've got a lot of incredible moderators. Oh, feminines, yes, in line with exactly beautiful what we were just talking about, acceptance. Waxing crescent too, yeah, acceptance. So with this new moon, because this is sort of a sliver, so this is building up to that new moon after this full moon that we had on the 30th, the new moon in Sagittarius, which is a solar eclipse, is going to bring in acceptance. And I'm feeling this, you guys, I'm feeling it, I'm here for it, are you here for it? Because we have had a hell of a year where it's been really challenging to accept that things didn't necessarily flow the way we expected them to or wanted them to, but they absolutely flowed the way we needed them to. So acceptance of, first of all, it's acceptance of the connection, acceptance of the electricity between the two partners, the one soul. And we have the energy here of peace and hope and acceptance of where you're at on your journey. Knowing not to compare your journey to other people's journeys because we just can't do that. Our journey is ours and ours alone and someone else's journey is theirs and theirs alone. And for us to sit here and compare and to want or expect things to be the way that someone else's journey is, is incredibly detrimental and destructive to our own growth, our own learning and our own journeys. And there's no set time frame. This is why I don't focus on time. There's among other reasons is if I were to say, let's say seven months, you know, in seven months, this is going to happen. Think about what can happen and what can transpire within those seven months that could bring a significant change within your connection, within your own life, within your own energies. Things could shift and that could either delay or speed up the process of, let's say, communication or union or reunion or anything in your life. So I think it's really, it doesn't behoove us. It doesn't, it does not support us to be so connected to timing, to be so connected to what the ego desires and wants. The soul contract is in place. Once you can truly, truly surrender to the soul contract and understand that you wrote this story before you were born with your counterpart, that you decided that this is how it was going to play out, when it was going to play out, why it was going to play out. We already know the why, but the hows and the whens, those are the confusing parts, right? For the ego and personality. The soul already knows and is at ease and at peace. It's only the ego that fears death. The soul knows that it is limitless. The soul knows that it is forever, that it does not end. The ego and personality go, oh shit, the end is coming, the end is nigh. And that's when you tend to have a panic attack or an anxiety moment. You know, a dark night of the soul moment hits where you feel like I'm, I'm losing myself. I don't know who I am or what I'm doing. And we're having a lot of these identity crises coming up here with this eclipse season, but we're, we're cleaning out and clearing out muck, decades worth of soul challenges, karmic challenges, karmic relationships, karmic junk, detrimental relationships we may have had or negative 
a negative self-construct, a negative self-identity, okay, negative self-worth, all of these things are being cleared out and we're coming into this area of deep acceptance. And once you feminine can reach this area of deep, deep acceptance of what is, everything is going to shift because you can truly let go and let God and realize that, you know what, I'm not necessarily steering the ship. I mean, I, I am in a certain, a certain degree, a certain way. I am steering the ship. I do have... Uh, I do have some control and do have a lot of power, but give into the soul contract, not what the ego wants, but the soul's contract. What is that going to lead to? Acceptance leads to action, illuminating the path, illuminating from within. Acceptance is going to lead to action and freedom. There's a freedom in this woman. She's dancing. She's liberated. She's liberated from the ego. She's liberated from the personality. She's liberated from needing to know when or how. And she just, she just accepts. She accepts. You know what? It's in divine timing. It's all working out in my highest good and in the highest good of your counterpart. So if your counterpart is behind the scenes right now, silent, ghosting, doing whatever they're doing, not paying you any attention or things have shifted as you know they have in these connections this year greatly understand that there's a reason why that action had to take place there's a reason why that sacred pause had to take place and there's a reason why your counterpart hasn't come forward fully because they need to empty their hands of yesterday the feminine is just over here blossoming the feminine is over here, really, she's planted her seeds, that seven of pentacles energy, and now she's in that nine of pentacles energy. A lot of feminines are finding themselves single right now or very close to being single. A lot of feminines have written me and said, I've broken up with a karmic, I'm in the process of divorce, my masculine hasn't yet, but I'm initiating it for me. So we don't initiate that because we expect our twin to do it we initiated it because it's right for our soul it's getting right with our soul guys getting right with what is truly an alignment with us and guess what once you do that your counterpart will follow suit when i don't know how i don't know but i do know that it will happen Spirit, tell me more about what's coming up here on the other side of acceptance. We know that the feminine's blossoming. This will lead to action, major realizations. Yeah. It's like finding the key to the locked door and realizing I had it all along. I had the answer sheet all along. I had the teacher's manual. It's always been inside me. Guys, there's such a freedom in realizing that you can let go and you're not going to lose your counterpart. Let me say that again. You can let go and you're not going to lose your counterpart. One more time because we have a three here. You can let go and you're not going to lose your counterpart. We also have three, 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 33 and three. You can let go and you're not going to lose your counterpart. Really digest that guys. Pause it, write it down, whatever you need to do read it to yourself allow yourself to really breathe that in and take that in this realization is leading to abundance this is more of the nine of pentacles energy more of that single woman or single man energy again we have the woman here surrounded by animals this continues to be a theme that comes up for my feminines animals are very comforting at this time it's one way to develop love it's one way to continue to grow the love that you have inside of you because if you feel like i have so much love to give and no one to give it to guys save a life go adopt a pet please go out in nature go feed the stray cats in your area get them neutered and fixed and you know buy them food and spend time with them spend time with animals because they're going to teach you there are greatest teachers right now as the earth is flipping as the earth is shifting and rotating so swiftly there are greatest teachers right now because they've they're such an integral part of this shift that's taking place on the planet so please spend time in nature spend time with animals in particular guys and if you say you don't like animals then i don't understand how that's even possible and 
maybe go get checked because I don't know how you couldn't like animals. I've never understood that. How do you not like animals? They're, they're better than us. They are, they're not beneath us. They are above us. They are sentient beings, guardians of the earth, the elephants, the whales, and all of the animals, guardians of this earth, gentle, sentient. just put these over here because it's going to annoy me. Okay. So what is this 1221 shift going to provide the feminines? Creation, beaver moon. Creation of your deepest, deepest desires. Your deepest gifts are going to come to the surface, okay? So a lot of your gifts are coming online now, feminine, and it's going to be able, you're going to be able to create in the physical 3D realm. We've been sort of blocked, if you will. It's felt like, you know, we've been in the void. We felt like we've been blocked from our higher self, our intuition and our guidance at this time. So um, I know that I felt blocked, not in regards to other, not in regards to doing readings for others, but in regards to my own journey. I've been definitely blocked off from my counterpart for months, been in this void. And so it's like you have no choice but to detach. You have no choice but to accept. And in that acceptance, in that acceptance of the void, the spark is born again. Resilience and discernment. Yeah, the feminine is really allowing herself to be discerning about where she places her energies. Okay, feminine, where are you placing your energies? And how, who are you allowing into your Field. Who are you allowing into your space? Who are you allowing into your home? Okay, and, and really feminine, you might just end up after this year with just a handful of friends, a handful of really close friends. And a lot of the 3D relationships are going to have to be sort of tossed to the wayside. And I don't mean that flippantly. I don't mean that as in... There's going to be falling outs is what I'm trying to say. And there has been falling outs with the 3D relationships. And so many feminines have felt very alone, but it's very important to practice discernment and use your higher wisdom and your higher consciousness. That's going to be coming back online now, especially when we hit 1221, the age of Aquarius. And then resilience. This is sort of the 10 of wands energy. I don't love that this is showing up in the feminine's energy. But um, it has been showing up for the feminines. And I feel like this is the energy of feeling like I have to do it all alone. I have to do it all alone. And so I want to clarify that, actually. Can we clarify that? Let's clarify, actually, with the wild, unknown animal spirit. We're going to clarify here. Tell me more about resilience. This is also just the feminine realizing that she she's becoming self-reliant. She has become self-reliant. She doesn't feel codependent anymore on the masculine or on any other male or masculine energy in her life or his life. Um, the feminine does not feel like, like in the past, there was a lot of codependency in the collective. A lot of that's been healed in 2020. And a lot of that was really due in large part to the separation, to this pandemic, to everything that seems so negative on the surface that's in turn healed so much in the feminine collective. Turtle. Oh man, please don't tell me that <laughs> I'm going to be, you guys are going to get, I'm just the messenger. Turtle generally represents <sighs> slowing down, patience. I'm sorry, guys. I don't make the rules. Let me find this in the book because... Here we go. 
ancient soul, grounded, trusting at home in the self beautiful. This is exactly your gifts are going to be coming back online, all your discernment, but also your intuition is coming back online, your connection to source. It's time for an adventure, feminines, and it's time to be productive again. Yeah, remember we got the action card? Yeah, it's time. It's time to be productive. It's time to open back up again to the world. It's wonderful to be in the presence of a turtle personality. Like the beaver, the turtle has a strong relationship with the earth and water elements simultaneously. So water and earth signs are being highlighted here as well. Taurus, Virgo, Cap, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. This helps to ground and connect them to the deeper truths of life, no matter where their travels lead them. Turtle energy is behind all great writers and storytellers as they collect life experiences under their shells for later use. The most potent turtle energy helps us close all the other books and begin to tell our own true tale. This is truly about the feminine writing her own story or his own story at this time, throwing everything else away, every other idea, every like dismantling the belief systems that have been placed inside of you and choosing to tell your story from your vantage point, being very discerning and recognizing the resiliency that's led you to this place because turtles are very resilient. They have this hard shell and yet they're very soft in the center, much like the feminines can be. We've had to be very discerning. We've had to be protective. We've had to sort of um, sometimes lash out in a sense at our masculines when the masculines, you know, putting up those boundaries when the masculines were acting, acting amiss, okay, and weren't acting in alignment with respecting the feminine. And so the feminines have had to learn self-protection. And I do feel like the turtle represents self-protection and that mechanism of being able to care for self. This is definitely releasing codependency. That's the resiliency that's being formed here. All right, who else is walking with feminine, please? You wanna come and say hi, Charlie? He's been like lurking around. <laughs> Eagle, higher perspective. Right, higher perspective feminines. Seeing the higher perspective, the eagle is an apex predator as well. So pretty much no one's gonna fuck with the eagle. <laughs> no one's fucking with the feminine. No one, um, no karmic will ever measure up to the feminine. It does not matter. The looks, the, it doesn't matter. You can't measure up to the feminine. There is a power in with the feminine energy right now. The feminine is really seeking truth at this time. That's why we have the acceptance card because the feminine is seeking the truth of the matter. Um, the feminine is busy creating. The feminine is busy having these sort of aha moments and realizing I don't need anybody else to create and to become abundant. And truly, I know it's scary. Your ego is scared going, what do you mean I don't need my masculine? If I don't need my masculine, what is this journey? What, what am I going to do? How am I going to move forward? Guys, it's, it's freedom. It's the freedom of realizing that you can take the action that you need to take to move your life forward. You don't have to wait on being in union. You don't have to wait on somebody else outside of you. Your masculine is inside of you. Once we understand that fully, that your masculine, your counterpart lives inside of you, you're going to align internally. That's that true inner union. Once you align internally with yourself and you give everything back to yourself, you're giving everything to you, guess what? Your counterpart has no choice but to show up in the physical because that is your soul and they're going to step forward. That embodiment of your soul is going to step forward and is going to meet you where you're at. This is also about transforming karma. This is really key right now. It's totally in alignment with the eclipses, uh, the eclipse we just had on the 30th in Gemini. If you're new to the channel or you're like, what, oh my gosh, what, we had an eclipse, check it out. It's very transformative. It's in the sign of the twins. It's in the sign of communication. Gemini is ruled by Mercury. And it's really about the duality, the world that we've been living in, the 3D and the 5D and how we're merging into oneness very potent but it's also about it's also about releasing the karma from the past two decades so any control issues or any codependency that the feminine has experienced over the past two decades 
it's a brand new day, guys. That is being totally released. And now you're stepping into the unknown, but with confidence in yourself, in your own skin. And there's a strength with the eagle. There's a strength of spirit and there's a strength physically in the physicality. And there's mastering of the elements of fire and air. So now we have all the elements. We had fire, or we had water and earth with turtle. Now we have air and fire. So fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, air elements, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So now we have all the signs represented. Beautiful. So when Eagle appears here, feminines, what we have going on is you've been thrown into the karmic fire. And this is about the Phoenix rising. The Eagle is linked to Scorpio. Scorpio is linked to the Scorpion, the Eagle, and the Phoenix rising. Eagle, Eagle is very intricately linked to the Phoenix rising. You have to become the Eagle transforming from the scorpion to the eagle and then from there you rise into the phoenix and you're releasing all the karmic allegiances into the fire to be burned into ashes and then you rise from the ashes you rise from that place and you step into your true power it's all about transformation it's all about reinvention of self seeking the highest Remembering that you're stronger than you ever, ever thought possible, feminine. Let's just go ahead and get a card. They do want me to just check in here with the masculine's energy. Ooh, serpent, snake. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Don't jump to conclusions. I, my ego just started to jump to conclusions. Okay. Let's see. Snake. Interesting. Okay. Interesting indeed. So this is an earth element. Guardian of unawakened magic and creative potential. Woo! Masculines. Remember, masculine energy residing inside of you, feminines. Don't look at this as the energy outside. Look at this as the internal energy. This is where it's at. You want a secret? You want to get into union? You want your counterpart to come out of hiding? Find them within yourself. That's the key. That's the secret. Then the past, the masculines have sort of been on this journey of non-committal <laughs> they haven't been able to commit to many things even though it may have looked like they were committed to the karmic if they were involved with you they were not committed to that connection or relationship either so they haven't in fact been committed to many things they haven't even been committed to their own growth okay until 2020 hit and they really had no choice there's an element of protection here too right an element of protecting what they've created and <clears throat> The snake has always been regarded as the symbol of our highest potential as humans, as creators. So if you guys have heard of the word Shakti, it's your life force. Um, it's called different things in different cultures. Okay, prana is another word that you may have heard, depending on where you've been educated or where, you know, where you've learned about this vital life force energy, the breath. Okay, sometimes you just call it the breath. But it's this kundalini energy that begins at the base of the spine. And when we uncoil that snake, okay, it's dormant energy. When we uncoil it, guess what? We unleash the beast, so to speak. We unleash the energy of this unawakened potential. And all of a sudden, we waken it. It's like untapped potential that we have existing within us, stirring the snake from the slumber. So when the snake card appears as it's appearing for the masculine energy, this says that there's no time to waste and it is time for us to awaken that potential and i feel like this really speaks to the action card 
having the realization, right, that it's time. It's time to, you know, when twins meet in the physical in this life, you awaken your, oftentimes, when you're physical, when you're intimate with your counterparts, sex will awaken the kundalini energy, that dormant energy, especially for the masculine. The feminines have likely experienced that before, maybe even with other partners, but the masculines have not. And when they meet the feminine, it's like, whew, all of a sudden, all of this life force energy, all of this untapped potential is, is it's, it's awakened. And they don't know what to do with it because they can't fit this potential into their former lives. And so that's why their former lives begin to sort of crumble and fall around them because they cannot, it's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. It's like they're changing and they're fighting the change and that's when they disappear, that's when they run. They just want to go back to their old lives. They want things to be simple. They may even call the feminine, you know, you're a witchy or, you know, you're, you're kind of weird or, you know, you're crazy or whatever it is. It's like it's them being in resistance with the change that needs to happen. And in regards to the snake energy, this is what already exists within you. It's already within you. You don't have to look outside of it. So the masculine energy is realizing I don't have to look outside of myself, just like the feminine energy is realizing. So they're on the same page of everything exists within me. This is the Ten of Pentacles energy, dream a beautiful dream. And this will come up over and over and over again in these readings. And it has been coming up over and over again because we are nearing this place of complete self-actualization where we step into the energy of the age of Aquarius, the energy of enlightenment, the energy of where nothing can be hidden. <laughs> scary for the people that are still living in the dark or in the shadows, okay? Or scary for the people that are living in fear, but not scary for those of us who have been, it's going to be such a relief for those of us who have been trying to shine the light in all the dark crevices of the world and the human soul. So let's finish up this reading, beloveds, with a few cards from the Elemental Oracle. What do the feminines most need to know about their energy at this time? Cleansing. There is a cleansing. These, these are repetitive energies. And so, yeah. We know that we've been in a void. We know that there's a cleansing. I'm not even going to go into detail because these have been coming up over and over again. But there's a cleansing that's been happening here for the feminines. And life, new life is being breathed into you. And this is about you reconnecting with source, you reconnecting with that vital life force energy, that prana, that shakti, that chi. And then also we have motion, air. So this is really two cards indicating there's there's going to be energy in motion. There is going to be some sort of movement forward for the feminine energy. And that is exciting because, oh my gosh, has it felt like we've been in a void for so long. Okay. Is there anything else that wants to come through? You know what? Oh my gosh, I feel like I cannot get enough sleep lately. Uh, there's a deck here. No, I'm not feeling that. It's like it calls to me, but then I don't feel like I connect to it. Maybe, maybe I will once we hit 1221. Hmm. Maybe we just need to call it a day. <laughs> Is there anything else that wants to come up? What about, let's get one more card and then we'll call it a day here. One more card from the Animal Spirit Guidebook and we're just gonna ask union energy. Now guys, I'm talking about inner union, inner union. What is the Animal Spirit guiding inner union? Ooh, tiger. Tiger, inner union. Let's have a chat, shall we? This is fire energy. Hold on. Oh, 
Uh, excuse you? Really? Did you just do that? That was rude. <laughs> That's so rude. <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> Charlie! Charlie wants to say hello, and he doesn't care that he just knocked down all the cards. He's restless. He's been... Okay, seriously. <laughs> you stinker. Tiger, lunar force. This is about the, oh yeah, you see the moon here. The new moon energy, very, very vital. Oh, that is so rude. Excuse you. <laughs> That's just like a cat. Um, seriously, get your little toesies off mom's reading. That's rude. Rude. Oh yeah, now you go ahead and just sit there and enjoy yourself. So if you can see the mood here on the tiger's forehead, you little stinker, uh, we have the energy of not only fire, but the energy of finding ease in the darkness. This is the feminine energy in incarnate. So in the union energy, guys, we have the feminine energy as being, I want to say the dominant force at this time. Okay. There's a lot of passion. There's strength and sensuality. So sacral chakra ignition. And remembering that, you know, the tiger is fearless. The tiger hunts at night and the tiger is very comfortable with silence. So this is about the connections becoming comfortable in the silence. The connections becoming comfortable in the energy of maybe not speaking in the physical world or feeling like there's no movement in the physical world. This is about being comfortable with the phases of the moon and this new moon in Sagittarius on December 14th, the solar eclipse is going to absolutely bring out the inner feminine in both counterparts. And it's going to really, really allow the feminine to become the dominant force moving forward here into the age of Aquarius. So there's a lot of sensuality that's going to be brought up between the counterparts and in, inside internally. Uh, receptivity, surrender, and then devotion. So spend some time in silence. Enjoy the void. Enjoy the silence, the Pesh mode. Go listen to that song. Meditate. Okay. There's nothing to fear, feminines, about the quietness. Your power is awakening in the stillness. Your masculine's power is awakening in the stillness. Their gifts are coming online. They are starting to have deep, deep-seated realizations about this journey, about who they are, about what they are, about who you are to them, who they are to you, and about their mission in this lifetime. What a beautiful spread. I just, I don't know. I want to take a picture of it. It's so pretty. Guys, have a beautiful, beautiful, blessed day. And thank you for being here. I'm going to end the reading there. I'm going to hop on to some personal readings. And I send you all so much love. Take great care. And I will see you so soon. Blessings.